Here we have a question about cubics. It says f of x is a cubic polynomial in which the coefficient of x cubed is 1. The equation f of x equals 0 has exactly two roots. And part a says sketch a possible graph of y equals f of x. For this question, you need to understand generally what the graph of a cubic looks like and also what it means if the cubic has two roots. So uh, typically, uh, you would see a cubic with three roots. So if I draw a quick set of axes over here, uh, a cubic goes up, cut, cutting the x-axis once, down, cutting it twice, and up again, cut it, cutting it a third time. So that's the general shape of a cubic graph. And if it tells you that there are two roots, that means it cuts the graph once and then just touches it a second time. So it comes up, cuts the x-axis once, and then comes down and just touches the x-axis again. So that's a tangent to that curve at that second root and it could also go uh, the other way so it could go like this just touch it from behind or below sorry and then go up and cut the x-axis again or if it was a negative cubic it would come down touching the x-axis and then go down and cut the x-axis like that uh, so that's where this bit of information comes in handy it says the coefficient of x cubed is one meaning it's a positive cubic so it it has this shape like this. So it goes up and then up again like that. Uh, so we know that it's going to be either this or uh, touching from below. Okay, so if I were to draw an example of what that graph might look like, I would draw it like this. So cutting the x-axis and then just touching it like that. Okay, so that would be my x-axis there and my y-axis and that is f of x. So that is an example of what it might look like. The question goes on. It is now given that the two roots are x equals two and x equals three. Find and expand and form the possible polynomials f of x. Here we can utilize the factor theorem and say that if x equals two is a root, then x take two would be a factor. And if x equals three is a root, then x take three will be a factor. And if it only has two roots, one of those is going to be squared. So either x take two squared or x take three squared. So my two polynomials here will be f of x equals x take two squared multiplied by x take three. And then uh, down here, I'll do another one. f of x equals x take three squared multiplied by x take two and I need to expand those out. The other thing to note here is, again, because they tell us the coefficient of x cubed is positive one, not negative one, we don't have to worry about the negatives of these. So another possibility, if they didn't tell you the coefficient was positive, you might also have to consider f of x equals negative x take two squared multiplied by x take three. That would still give you the same two roots. It would just be facing the other way. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that because we have a positive cubic. So now we just need to expand these out. So this would be x squared take 4x plus 4 multiplied by x take 3. And then expanding further, this would be x cubed uh, take 3x squared take 4x squared plus 12x plus 4x take 12. And then simplifying further, we've got x cubed take 7x squared plus 16x take 12. Okay, so that is my first expanded cubic. And then expanding the second one, I would have x squared take 6x plus 9 multiplied by x take 2. And expanding those, we have x cubed uh, take 2x squared take 6x squared uh, plus 9x take 18. Simplifying further, I have x cubed take 8x squared, and I've missed something there. I missed the positive 12x, sorry, positive 12x, and uh, take 18. So then I have uh, 9 plus 12 is 21x, take 18. Okay, so that's my uh, second cubic polynomial. All right. So there you go. That is uh, an interesting question on cubics. Again, final answers. X cubed take 7x squared plus 16x take 12 and x cubed take 8x squared plus 21x take 18. Important things to take away from this is that if you're told it has two roots, 
one of those factors is going to be squared. Thanks for watching.